What's going on, man? How you doing? Good morning. Good to see you. Uh, kind of nervous about today. Kind of nervous. <clears throat> no, uh, I'm going to take on some Gleox today. For the first time. Yeah, we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> hey, Matt, what's going on? I don't know if you fought one yet. Uh, I haven't, so this will be new. How have you guys been? How's your weekend going? Let's cook these pumpkins. Where did I get pumpkins from? You haven't beat one? Okay. I figure we're going to need uh, definitely some health. Again, I don't look at these recipes. I just throw in edible stuff into the pot and see what comes out of it. <laughs> Even with the buffs and stuff, I'm not saying you shouldn't like create stuff that give you buffs, but I just whatever. Even when I'm healing myself, right? I just grab, I just just heal the hearts up. That's all I care. That's all I care about. Hey, cutthroat, what's going on? My uh, discussion was so interesting you fell asleep, was it? <laughs> uh, more coffee, yeah, absolutely. I, I need one for sure. Yeah, I have that. The scaffolding auto build, yeah, that's... Um, I think we're going to need that for uh, the... To pop into the quick time. Actually, I have a bunch of trampolines too that we can use. Because I definitely know we're going to have to get into the quick time because you have to shoot them in the eye. Oh, Matt, I agree. You know what's a funny experiment? I don't know if you guys get affected by caffeine the way I do, but it's. To me, it's like I need it first thing in the morning. Try this one morning. Get up, film yourself in this state you're in. Okay, just say a few sentences. And then film yourself like 15 minutes later after you've had your first coffee. And it's crazy and somewhat scary the differences. I've done that before. I drink straight black coffee and for whatever reason. I don't know because maybe there's no cream in it, but I get dehydrated a lot more. So if I don't do at least one water to one coffee ratio, I get really just like shaky and I don't know. It's not good. I want to show you guys the new my big painting. It's a Pona outside. I think it's pretty sweet. <laughs> What's up, Indonor? I like that. Well, that's shooter, right? Shooter's like, stay away or you'll pay. Hear what I say. He's just like, oh, well, maybe I'll just eat some hay. <laughs> That's funny. So again, I like to try and give us a goal for the streams. Um, 
I'm very nervous, okay? Full disclosure, I don't know if we're going to be successful. We're going to tackle a Gleok for the very first time. I've aggroed a couple by accident and ran. But I've mapped four. One, two, three. And I know this one in particular, I think, is heart very, very difficult. So I guess the one everyone knows is this one. I think this is a fire Gleok on the bridge of Hylia. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I was just joking, Cutthroat. Thanks for saying that, dude. Yeah. I appreciate that. I'm trying to find more videos for morning coffee that are um, more engaging. Like, today was great, right? It sparked up a great conversation. Uh, again, as much as I like watching the Gamer Rage stuff. But, um, yeah, I like I like chatting with you guys, getting your perspective on things. Why is it always raining? It's always raining. Like, I, I swear, in my game, 60% of the time, it's raining. Ah, uh, fan... No. No. I don't do fan expo anymore. No. I would go if we were promoting something. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not with EB anymore, right? I've never worked. Um, well, we did a volunteer thing for my Star Wars group a couple years ago. But, uh, yeah. I've never been there like as an actual employee working the floor kind of thing. Oh, nice, map. Yeah, there's a lot of YouTubers that I actually watch that um, they do reaction videos. And I just, I like that style. I just like the idea. It's like hanging out with buddies, right? I like the idea of us just all hanging out, watching the same kind of thing, and discussing said thing. That's where I got the idea for morning coffee was, you know, I would get up, have my first cup, and check my YouTube. What is this? <laughs> Uh, what have I stumbled upon? Check my YouTube and just watch a video. And just the one day, I'm just like, I wonder what would happen if I went live right now. And that's how that, that show was born. Programmers never saw The Crow. Are you talking about the game? What's got a Canada feel? Oh, does it? Oh, well, my accent, I've heard I have a Canadian accent, which I didn't think Canadians had an accent, apart from the stereotypes like the A and the a boot and all that, but I guess I have an accent otherwise. Oh, EB Games, like, their booth is not there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why. When I was at EB, uh, you know, we would have our conference calls and from what I understand the booth was always successful so I don't know I guess they don't see the value in it it's a lot of work for them to to gather the manpower uh, then rent the floor space and take all the product there just for a weekend right My game because I'm Canadian? Is that what you're saying? It's raining? Oh, that guy just got owned. Boy, those guys aren't threatening anymore. I don't even need that blade. I don't even need your stinking blade anymore. You guys can tell I'm stalling. Uh, here we go. Here we go. EB's booth was the best. I'm surprised Fan Expo 
hasn't found a way to like charge for charging and not to slam fan expo i'm just saying man there's a there's a way to make money absolutely every person has a cell phone in front of them at all times you know what i mean i mean if you wanted to be a real ass you could charge for that Uh, no, I'm not going to build stuff right now, dude. I'm actually nervous. I'm kind of stalling. It's past this bridge here. Oh, God. There's a guy. Okay, I'm going to just mark him. I so... Uh, Indo nerd, I didn't like. I had a pretty not great experience last time I was there. I just I don't like it. Like being there as um, I guess a fan. There he is. I don't know. I don't like big crowded cons and stuff like that. Like walking around, I feel like they oversell it, so it's way too crowded. Uh, the event itself, I don't have a problem with. And autograph-wise, I mean, it depends who's there. The last one I went to is where I met Mark Hamill. But, I mean, it's got to be someone that I really, really love to, to go to one of those things. Mark. Mark was the, the exception. That was 2016. I passed up on that guy cut through because we got a mission. He's st staring in front of us here. Uh, JT, just to shake it up, I think I'm going to take a break from Zelda after this week and play some other stuff. Um, I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, there, there's some people that watch the stream that don't like Zelda. What is that? Or that not that they don't like Zelda, but they want to see other stuff too, right? Ah, uh, dude, I didn't... I really feel in the draw to Final Fantasy. Let's just take a pause here before I go into this. Yeah, so if you watch the last stream, um, that the woman boss that we fought, I don't know. I'm not really into the single player MMO style. I think it's a great game. I just can't see. It was like every other every other fight was like this big 10 minute long I don't know I think the story is great I just I don't feel the need to go back to it and I don't I also don't like how it's not open world and not every game has to be open world but I, I figure that game should be open world but I mean it is what it is right yeah you love Zelda I know buddy <clears throat> I just, I gotta, I gotta mix it up, right? And again, I'm just toying with ideas. Uh, so the idea of the Gleok, again, I just dream this stuff. And I try and come up with stream ideas. So I named this one the Gleok and Tony Hawk. Because I definitely want to do some uh, Tony Hawk grinding. How far does this guy shoot? Let's figure that out first. He's pretty, he's pretty far. Pretty far. Not so far, Matt, it's not, no. But this guy, wow, this guy's got some range. No, so far it's a, a map screen and you go to the different icons and you click on the icon on the map. Kind of like, think about like, a, a easy example would be a Super Mario Brothers 3, the map screen, or Mario World on Super. Something like that, right? So there's dots and you just move your character to the dots, click on it, and then you go into an area. Destiny is another good example of that. Put on fire protection. Okay. Really? That's going to protect me from... Well, I mean, it'll... I don't know. The armor is only three. See, I was going to do this. This, right? I think this would be a better idea. And then we're going to get a strong bow. These Royal Guard bows, by the way, I've stocked up on are just from Hyrule Castle. 
Also, the uh, the royal bow is also from Hyrule Castle. And I finally found Buddy to um, upgrade my slots. We're going to put on the big shield. And we're going to get the... I made a couple of really long weapons. Look at this one. 43 damage. We're going to equip that. Uh, how are they going to backtrack from open world of 15 to 16? Okay, so full disclosure. I'm only about five hours into it. So I think I remember reading 15. It opens up finally. I don't think at first it's open world. So this might open up. I don't know. All I do know right now... Uh, is that it's not open world and I don't really feel just the draw to go back to it. Again, that might be because of Zelda. Alright. It's going to blow that up. Didn't blow it up. Man, that goes to the other side of the bridge. Look at this guy. Look at his range. Stop climbing. Oh my god, that's a one-shotter. I don't like how you stick like that. Oh boy. Boys, this is... Uh, this is going to be fun. So I didn't think he was going to actually one-shot me. Here we go. Oh! That was hilarious. That was hilarious. I'm mean, gonna clip that. Big hero. I slammed my head. So he, the, the boss is like, you know what? I don't got time for these games. I'm resetting. And now it's friggin' raining again. I'm gonna get zapped here. Why is it always raining? So now I have to take off all my stuff. That was pretty funny though. And why is the bow almost broken? So I gotta be more aggressive. So what we're gonna do when this stupid storm is over, I'll aggro the boss with an attack instead of just moving close to him. I didn't know how close. This should be good. Um, we can also build something like this. I've, I've seen uh, barricades. So if we don't want to, um, use the the board. We can use this. So the idea with this is not only to shield me from his fire, but I can ascend to the top, jump off to achieve bullet time, which makes a lot more sense than trying to shoot him in the eye with real-time arrows. We're just waiting for the fire now. Or, sorry, the, the rain to stop. The range just kept getting longer. Like, it was literally the entire length of this bridge. But that fire, yeah, they, they gave me a chance there. Because that fire, like, took me down to a quarter health. Where do you find those, dude? I haven't even found a Lionel yet. I haven't even come across one. 
again, I knew where this one was. We came across this guy really early, like the first week. And I aggroed him just to see what would happen. He didn't catch me, but... So I just Googled a bunch and, and found the locations and just placed them on the map. Oh, they're in the depths, too. I know to get Majora's Mask, you have to fight, like, five of them. In that, like, Colosseum thing. Ice weapons. Ah, uh, perhaps, yeah. So you need to shoot all the heads. So you hit each head, like, in the eye with an arrow. And then he'll crash down, and then you just go to town on him. Easier said than done. This weather is, like, unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable that it rains so much in my game. So for those of you who don't know, anything that I wear that's metallic, I'll get struck by lightning. So that's why I can't really do anything right now. All my edged weapons that have high damage, I'll get struck by lightning. If I put on a shield, if I equip a bow, put on armor. So I just have to wait. <laughs> It's okay. It's building the tension, right? It's building the tension. Um, it doesn't really matter what armor I wear. So I'm going to wear the Ocarina of Time set. Because he's like one shot me anyway. That was my strongest armor set and he took me down to nothing. Uh, we're going to get a big double hander. This thing is huge. Look at the size of this thing I made. 43 damage. That's so we don't have to get too close to him. Oh, yeah. Fuse the rocket to the shield as well. Well, I hope... I hope that um, this stone wall will protect me from the fire as well. So we'll see. Here we go. It is incredibly slow, but I can do a circular spin by holding the attack button. <laughs> Might be too far away. Yeah, I'm too far away. Imagine the Gleok. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, you've got to be kidding. Look at this kid. Imagine just seeing this big brick wall coming at you. He's like, dude, you think you're really going to do anything with this thing? Look at me just sneaking up. This is so hilarious. Oh my god. He doesn't see <gasps> He doesn't see me. Oh my god, he doesn't see me. What is going on with this wall over here? Link's like... <laughs> Dude, that is hilarious. There you go. You learn something new every day. You could just use this to stealth up to anybody. And he doesn't suspect anything. Here we go. Yo, Joe! One, two, and three. Should do it. Come on, boys. Eat it up. Eat it up. Weapon broken. Perfect. Run. Okay. What do we got? That's double. Get the old 38er here. It's protecting from the wind, too. Amazing. Amazing. Come on. 
If he starts flying, we're in trouble. Oh my god, why did it break? Okay, all right. No problem, no problem, no problem. Just, uh, you know, do that again. Oh! Note to self, the game does not pause just because you're building something. But I think because we're missing that quarter health, that was it. Yeah, so my zonite is a factor. I don't even know how many it costs to build that thing. But we're certainly going to try it again. <laughs> oh, it's only 12 to build this. Okay, so we're in good shape. What? Oh, it's because I didn't have it built. I'm an idiot. All right, well, this is how an idiot fights. Yo, Joe. I'm walking at him with the invisible thing. Uh, I don't think I can hit him this far. Let's try this. We're gonna build like a little city here. He's up now. All right, boys, we got to fight. We got to fight. Oh, hello. How you doing, buddy? I hit that was I hit the wrong button. Holy Jesus. Okay. I can't even, like, hit him, man. Yeah, it's okay. He's destroyed all my stuff. Okay, well, we're just going to repeat what what we did the first time yeah so okay so here's the thing with what's going on in my mind here so i tend to get a little panicky on, on situations like this which is very entertaining but i freeze in terms of what do the buttons do so that's what you guys witnessed there Okay, so I blew it because I, I walked up to him like this. So I had the scaffolding like this, and I was walking up to him like this, but nothing is built yet. So I needed to do this so he can't see me. So that was just panic there, and I was just fumbling with the buttons. So the idea with this is, okay... You got to get up high, and then you jump off something high, and it puts you into bullet time with your bow. So that's all we got to do. And then rinse and repeat. And then when he falls to the ground, just smack him in the eyes. It's just rinse and repeat. Is this close enough? Do you think my arrows will reach? I mean, I think they should, right? <clears throat> mm. 
one. Okay, now well, we're gonna do the old double. All right, here we go. thing on right now. Run! So I gotta be fast. I can't let him attack. What is happening? Oh my god. What happened? What is happening? Oh, sh Jesus. Alright. Okay. No problem. No problem. Got, buddy. Oh, you got. At least Tulin's fighting. Yeah. So trying to do this without bullet time is kind of stupid. So what's gonna happen is he's going to despawn if I keep it up. Build it. Is that blinding to him? Master Sword should do it here. This one weighs 34 damage. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fast. And I mean fast. If you dilly dally, he's gonna be on you. It's too high. He's in the air now. This, this is a problem. No, stop that. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, Jesus. What is that? Oh my god, I'm watching my doom come at me. Hopefully this blocks it. Whoa! What the frig? And now it's raining again! You've got to be kidding me! It's raining again, so I have to take off everything. Wow. My luck is brutal. We had him. So I mean if we if we do it again, it's just gonna be the same weather cycle again. We got him, we know how to do it. It's just if I go in again, if I don't beat my time, it's gonna start raining. So if you again, 
If you don't take all your metal off, Link will get killed. It's not even a chance. Like, it will happen. And it starts to warn you. Electricity will start to come around Link, and then you'll get hit, and he's dead. What? That didn't even heal me fully? Come on, man. Oh, I'm sure I, I could, Matt. This is the beauty of the game, right? So this thing here... Um, this, this is auto build and these are schematics that I have found so that they have given me so that I can always build this stuff or you can build your own things and then save them. These are some of my creations that are, some of them are good, some of them are not. So you could do that. And that's the beauty of this game is that you can come up with your own way to get around any obstacle. That's why it's so brilliant. But I just figured this here. I was hoping it would provide protection, which it does for the minimal stuff. But for that giant fireball, which, by the way, I didn't even know he did that. But the AI is smart. They adapt. Uh, but this way, I st still think is the best. Uh, rockets, they will do damage. It's just physical damage, though, because they're more to help you traverse. But trying to aim a rocket at him, like, without bullet time with these arrows, I mean, you got to be pretty damn accurate. So at this point, I guess we're just going to wait for the rain. I mean, that's honestly, I'm not complaining, but I think that's pretty dumb. We just had to outweigh the rain, and now we have to. It's gonna rain again. So I, I have to wait it out or dodge the Gleok. Why can't they be easy like the Gleoks in uh, One of Gamelon? Yeah, that's not scary. So I'm gonna wait it out. I don't want to wait it out. Well, we'll test something. We'll test if it's the same weather pattern based on the load screen, which I think it probably will be. Um, if that's the case, we know that we have to uh, just wait. Uh, we're going to put our strongest armor set on, which is the phantom armor. Doesn't seem to really make much of a difference because he whacks me. <clears throat> so hard that it drops me down to nothing anyway. I mean, I can see from the wind it's going to start raining any second now. Yeah, I can hear the thunder. We're just going to wait, guys. I apologize, but I can't control the weather. Yeah, look at it. It's starting to rain. There you go. So it is the same weather pattern. Okay, that's good to know. So what I'm going to do is um, switch out my armor, and then after it rains, I'm going to, like, save it. It's already starting to give me the warning. See that electricity there? So we have to take off everything metal. I'll stay under here for shelter. The old naked Link. Savage Link, as I call him. I found actually the other day his uh, hair tie. So it puts his hair into a ponytail. So it looks like uh, Breath of the Wild. So if you want him to look exactly like Breath of the Wild, you can do that. Eh? I got nothing. Grab your sword. I, I don't have anything. Gameplay is incredible. Oh, 
I like silver. Right. <laughs> I like his armor. I think it's awesome. It's actually raining here, too. So this is kind of like surreal. Virtual weather brought to you by Nintendo. Okay, we're about through. Let's go. Come on, let's freaking go. Jeez, I'm staying under this thing. The weather in Hyrule is lethal. I'm sure you can. That's a good idea, Cutthroat. Um, what I was doing was working. It just started raining. He was almost dead. He just would have had... Um, we had to do one more round. But because I had to dodge him, he started conjuring those like Sephiroth-sized planet-killing fireballs. And, yeah. I underestimated its radius and was disintegrated upon impact. This also, the rain is a pain in the butt in this game too because you can't climb when it rains unless you have the froggy gear. So rain in this game really is a pain in the butt. <sighs> elite gamer reference. Sephiroth, is it? Only elite gamers know who that is. The most overrated bad guy in video game history. <laughs> Why everyone loves him so much. A couple of the spells are actually pretty cool. Like the one that destroys the universe, which doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> no kidding. My god, don't go outside, it's raining. Look, is this not the longest rain you've ever seen? I'm going to jump in that thing soon if this keeps up. There. All right, where were we? He'll never see it coming. Do, 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 do. When you uh, take on one of these JT, let me know how you do it. Please feel free to use the same way. I just I, I love seeing how different players take on different bosses, or just the way that people tackle different situations in this game. I think we might be too close. Fat Stan, what's up, brother? You're about to see a real crap show. Look at him. He's like, what's that? It's me. Okay, here we go. Ugh, game mode. This game hates me. Now my bow broke. Oh, God. It's not good. Not good. 
Did you guys see that? And it takes you right out of bullet time. All right, we still might be able to hit him. Barely. Jesus, I was close. Don't have to move here really, really fast. And you have to like, oh shoot. You have to control the camera like on this completely different angle. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. Hey, look at this. I've created like this wall. All right, you wanna go? Do you wanna play games? Where's my trampoline? Let's play games. Let's freaking go. Is it just the two? Well, there's the third, the third. Anyway, oh my god. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Where is he? Oh my god, where is he? Holy sh shoot. Okay. Oh, I got hurt from the fall damage. Okay, this is not good. I didn't want him to get that high, but I guess he's on his final phase, so he's gonna he's gonna start some stuff. We want him to come back down. So we're gonna have to dodge here. Oh my god. There's lightning resistant stuff, that's pretty cool. Where is he? Come on, throw it right down, right down. Perfect. Yeah, the radius of that fireball is no joke. Okay, have the Goro guy fight him. Okay, I'll bring him out. I guess I might as well bring Sidon out too. I don't have those guys out. So that last time I went in, so we almost got him down. The last time I went in, okay, see, so I have a 64 damage. Okay, so we have been we were hitting him. I just grabbed the first thing. So we hit him with this 43 until it broke. And then I went to Master Sword until it broke. And then I went to this thing. And I wasn't even looking at the uh, the numbers. So if we go... This to this. Actually, if we start with the 64, then go 43, and then master. Let's do that. Because he's pretty low. So we might be able to kill him before he gets to that final phase. Because I think when he goes to that, like I don't know how to get him down. If I go too far off the bridge, he's going to despawn. So it's going to reset. You're frustrated? Yeah. Uh, it's It doesn't bother me. I mean, I, this is what this game is, right? It's just figuring it out. And the most important thing to me is that this game is extremely fun to play. Like, it just feels great. 
Um, whereas, like, we're talking about Final Fantasy 16. If I had continuously lost against that boss, that last one that I fought, it was like a 10 minute fight. See, I don't think that's fun. But this to me is fun. And the method we're doing, as ridiculous as this looks, is working. How close are we? So this is a speed fight. Okay, because I don't know what to do when he gets up high like that. He gets completely out of my range. Key eyeballs. Wait a second. Key eyeballs are heat seekers for your arrows. Oh, please tell me I have those. I should. Uh, because, yeah, there we go. That's electric keys. I need a regular one. They're red. Well, we might have to try the other ones. But those are the key side ball. There it is. This item here is a heat seeker when you fuse it to an arrow. So if we don't kill him before that final phase, if I put this on top of the arrow, I might be able to shoot it into the sky and it might be able to hit him. That's the idea. That's what we're going to try. We do have an advantage in that we can make the first move here. Oh, there's a dragon. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, here we go. Yep, you were right on the uh, the AI controlled companions. Yep, they're definitely helping. You gotta move so fast. He's trying to fly, right? I'm gonna have to go even faster next time. Look at all these guys slamming them. This was a great idea. The thing with that, though... Oh, it disappeared. Okay, this is where we got in trouble last time. Um, quick build. Quick build! Why did you not build? Don't have enough room! What are you talking about? I'm on a freaking bridge! Falling apart. What is happening with the controls? Up, oh. go. Okay, I'm gonna switch the bow real quick. I have a feeling this thing's gonna shatter. I can't see. This should use the spinning attack. I should use the spinning attack. Backwards now. This is all going to be just instinct. Hold it in. Hold the line. Hold the line. Oh my god, I'm out. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. You gotta be kidding! <sighs> Up! I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Okay, we can freeze it a bit. Oh, son of a. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to move quick, okay? I'm gonna have to go into bullet time, put the key cyball on the arrow, and let it go and hope for the best. <sighs> oh, God. That's not it. I just want a regular one. Look at all the items I have. The one big flaw of this game is the inventory system. my wall still there we did it good job guys what do we get gliok wing Ooh. Yeah, but are you going to really use one whole wing for one arrow? I guess this can be used on future Gleox. But that key's eyeball, regardless of distance, went right to him. What is this thing? Gleox flame horn. A crown like fire. Imbued a horn of a Gleox. Attach it to weapon to vastly increase its attack power. Cook with a critter to make an elixir. So my Master Sword's already infused, but I would definitely like to infuse this Gleok horn with it. Let's see if we can... Uh... Alright, let's see what this does. Gleok Flame Horn attached to the Master Sword. Okay. Well, why did... Oh, it's 30. I mean, that's that's okay. What's the base damage of the Master anyway? Or did that even do anything to it? I think we'll save the others for a couple of different weapons. What is this? Gleok Guts. A rare and precious, uh, albeit creepy material that pulses even after the former owner has been vanquished. Cook it with a critter to make a powerful elixir. Yeah, we just get that weird glow. So, I mean, initially when I pull out the master with it being fused, it'll take on the shape of whatever I fused it to, like this little stumpy thing. But then it just turns to that, yeah. So, those other ones I'm going to fuse to some cool, like, Royal Guard weapons, maybe. Well, that's one down, guys. We did it. Good job. Good job. I'm proud of us. How many arrows did we use anyway? Ah, oh, we didn't even use that many arrows. We didn't even use that many arrows. So there you go. That's uh, one way to take down the Gleok. Now, we're, we're obviously going to fight a bunch more. Um, but I think that way was pretty, pretty good. Our monstrosity of a tower is still there. So for that, you will need the auto build uh, feature. Uh, there's obviously many other ways to take down a Gleok, but that's one. 
Does anybody know what this is? What is this? Certain death. Only one way to find out. Also, I would say um, these other Gleox that I have mapped, and there's only a few of them. Uh, so I have three more. There's many more Gleox. There's a couple flying in the air too, right? Um, I don't know how these guys are stationed. We might not be able to just walk up on it. I don't know. I don't know if that wall strategy is going to work for everyone. I was kind of hoping we get some kind of weapon, to be honest. Like a weapon drop. A breakable one, even. We're going to take on the Gleox. Just taking a little break. Because we're going to find out what this is. This is driving me crazy. I'm assuming we're going to die. Here we go. Let go! Game over. Uh, I think it's just a bridge that leads to the other side, Matt. Yeah, but you're right. I probably should have. We'll, we'll do that again if he hasn't respawned. Which he shouldn't respawn until there's a blood moon. Uh, cool thing about this game, too, is when you beat a boss like that, I don't know if that's a world boss, whatever you call it. I'll call it a world boss. Um, once he respawns again, it will say defeated by his name, which I think is awesome as a way to show that you've taken him out already. What else you got down here for me? What's this here? Shrine. Seek the crystal connected to the beam. Can we use this as a warp point at least? Ah, we could still warp there. So we gotta find the crystal then. So there's just a shrine down here. I mean, alright, I guess. I would have preferred like the mirror shield, but hey, that's just me. There's nothing else here. Just get these bright blooms that are over here and we'll be heading on to the next one. I really hope you get something for taking out all the world bosses. I, I assume there's some kind of reward for doing that. Otherwise, what's the point? Realistically, with that Gleok, you could have just flown around him. You don't have to cross that bridge. Right, like this boats you can fly you can walk around there's many different ways <clears throat> but that being said let's go on to the next one which is this guy here 
I don't think it's an area we've been in yet. Uh, this is the closest. We'll actually be able to, with this tower, shoot down onto him. Freezing, of course. So he's up here. We should be able to see him. I think he's right on that island. I don't think I've been on this one. Fairy would be nice. up here nothing the glider fairies we gotta sneak up to get those he should be on that mountain ridge Can't see him yet. Let's jump off. Oh, there he is right there. So we're going to come in behind him. I don't know if we want that. We don't want that. Because you can only take him down if you shoot him in the eyes. So we're going to have to go around. I'm gonna aggro him. I'm just gonna drop here. And climb up a bit. Okay. And I guess, I mean, we're gonna try the same strat, right? it so we don't have to come back here all right let's try it again let's try this other strat this is uh this is another fire gleok This is hilarious that this even works as far as him not knowing. I can't tell the distance. <laughs> Nothing to see here, buddy. Nothing to see here. All right. Are we ready? Let's put on our uh, big boy armor. Let's try. Let's look super cool when we do it. Oh, I'm freezing. Okay, so we can't do that. We gotta keep our ice armor on. Here we go. <laughs> it is like a Looney Tunes thing. That's what it really reminds me of. Oh, look at him. He's like, oh, hello there.
Well, that's not good. We're not going to get up to there in time. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm just trying to think here real quick. Um, the bow broke. Close somewhere to the cliff end. Ah, look at Tulin shooting him. That's amazing. Good job, buddy. Okay, let's move him down here. Uh, you're not getting me. At least this rock is not destructible. Why didn't he fall? Here. Master Sword, I guess, is the best. Understand why I keep losing health. The extreme cold, or am I super hot? It's super hot. Okay. Master Sword's out, so we're gonna switch to this guy. So, I can't see. Hit him, boys. Sucks.
still keep taking damage. I don't know if it's because of the Gleox wind or what is going on with that. Drop, drop. Shot me. Let's do that. Pump up that elixir. Go. Oh. I think he's gonna take my tower down. We're gonna have to be real fast here with the bullet time. There. Drop. Trying to hit without bullet time is a waste. Uh, those guys are, um, my guys are tanking, which is crazy. Okay, this is intense. What's up, Wizzy Wizard? Good to see you, buddy. Sorry, I'm a little silent here on the chat. I'm trying to concentrate. This fight's uh, quite a bit more difficult than the last Gleok. Just broke in my hands. What are you talking about? Okay, dump the auto build, run! Jesus. There's some kind of environmental damage I'm taking here. It's looking like heat, maybe? Attack power up. I don't think I can reach him in time. Okay, it's gonna be a key cyball kind of day. TJ, good evening. Wow. That was a fight. That was a frigging amazing fight. Two down. You just got the white Lionel? Nice, dude. 
Nice. Good job. I want to fight one of those. Second Gliok down here. So, arrow count. I'm getting low. I got 34. My key eyeballs. That was the heat seekers. Are low. I have one. So I don't know if other keys eyeballs, keys eyeballs, whatever you want to call them, keys, keys, Octorok eye. No, I don't. Oh, I have electric keys eyeball. Yeah, these might work. Fire keys eyeball. Okay. And let me see about my. Zonite materials. Oh, I still got lots of that. Okay. Man, that was fun. Two down. Who's next? Melee weapons. Good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, regroup. We've taken two. Uh... So I would say we need to go to the Royal Palace. To grab some Royal Guards weapons. <coughs> fuse those. Where did you find a white Lionel, by the way? Or where did you find any Lionel? I can't seem to... Uh, well, I've never come across one. Guys, what is up? My friend. Legend. Oh, you're so kind. You're a legend, my friend. We just fought uh, two Gleox. Oops, what am I doing? Which are the three-headed dragons in Tears of the Kingdom? World bosses. We took down two. Not a bad KDR. Not a bad KDR. And that second one, that second fight was a lot tougher. We're headed to Hyrule Castle to get some Royal Guards weapons. Just north of Lakeside Stables. Okay. That one weapon that we, um, this one here, the fire weapon, it's really good, but the rate of fire is not good. Let's drop this. It's got nice damage, but yeah, it was just taking way too long to destroy the heads of that thing. Uh, drop this. It's okay, we have one royal broadsword. I think I want the old double. Oh, I got this guy too. I forgot about this. We also want something with a good range. Master sword, still out of commission. Gaz, you good? You're down and out? Hope you're better, buddy. <laughs> the savior of Hyrule doesn't even care. It's just someone's walking. There's a lot of videos too. I don't know how much uh, Tears of the Kingdom videos you watch, but there's the falling rocks from the sky. There's lots of videos where Link's just randomly walking and one just lands on his head and kills him. Pretty funny. Some funny stuff. Royal Guard's weapons are randomly all over the place. I don't know if they're in the same places. I haven't found them in the same place twice. They very well, very well might be. I don't know. I just know they're in this area.
Oh, yeah. They use the ascend on the bottom. Yeah, I've seen that. see anything this is weird they must know we want to do something they're like ah, oh, we're not going to spawn any weapons today i don't see a dang thing so we might have to expand why don't we put on some clothes let's do that Yeah, I think that might be the the answer, JT. Yeah, there has a bit of blood moon. Cause I I came here this morning to get a after I expanded my shield slots to get a couple of shields, so we could play Tony Hawk, baby. Yeah, but I don't remember. I must have got the swords. I didn't think I did, but there's lots of places in this castle we can go to. I wish I knew the castle layout better, but usually there's stuff lying around everywhere. Yeah, there's a couple right there. See ya! Bye! What is this? Zelda study. Oh my god. I've never been in here. What is that plant or not? Silent princess. Oh, there's a bow. Royal guard bow. Definitely need that. And a chest. Oh, 22. Ooh. That's great. Look at that one. Wow. Looks like the Master Sword. Get out of the way, guys. Oh, my God. Look at that one. The handle looks like the Master Sword. So we'll fuse that with something for some nice damage. I want to get a couple more, though, while we're here. I'm trying to think of other way. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. Did you see that? How are we not dead? That was crazy. Is it upside down? I can't get the camera in. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, well, that bridge just broke, so that's hilarious. Okay, we don't want to use this right now. These guys hit hard. <laughs> Tulin, do you want to like open fire? There you go, guys. Good job. I'll get you next time, Gadget! Look at him looking at me. Look at him laughing at me. Bugger. Yeah, I started the stream, uh, not yesterday, but the day before, in the underground of Hyrule Castle. And, yeah, that's where I picked up the three pieces, yeah. It's it's okay. It's got some pretty 
pretty good defense. Ah, oh, it looks friggin' awesome. Really, that's all that matters, right? So I need arrows, swords. What's going on, Jeff? Good to see you. Did you see the big fights? We took out two Gleox. I'm gonna save that. There we go. Here's our box breaker. We're just gathering materials before we go take on another one. Yeah, have you fought one yet? More more than the hearts, I wanted to make sure my stamina was pretty good because I knew there'd be a lot of running and dodging. Um, they're pretty fun. I don't know how else to, uh, to take it on except use the same way again. I'm kind of more concerned with killing each one than I am having like a different strat for each one. No, I don't think you can make your own arrows. Um, if we go up in the sky, we can usually find a ton. I think we started with 80. So I think we're in good shape um, that way. Was a chest really? <laughs> One dollar. Anybody have tips on where to find arrows? Besides the Sky Islands. And then I'm kind of just random. Like, I don't want to spend money on them in the town. I will if I have to. Uh, most I've got on the streams. Yeah. I try to keep them for the streams. That The guard set I just stumbled upon. Just exploring, really. Why isn't this coming out? Oh yeah, camps. That's a good idea. Yeah, I know. We have one of our teleporters by the mine area, which is a good spot to mine. Yeah, I think there's a camp there. Jeff, you, you haven't been armor hunting? You're probably playing other stuff, right? And I still haven't played Street Fighter. But like I said at the beginning of this one, I, I might take a break from Zelda for a while. <laughs> like for streaming. I should definitely be playing some other stuff. It's just so damn fun. It's so damn fun. Let's keep our long weapons for the Gleok. Take out these guys. Key eyeballs. We gotta remember. Oh yeah, I have electric key eyeballs. I just don't have the regular. That's it, boys. Good job. Chopped him in half. Chopped him in half. Look at this axe. I 
actually, we don't need to waste the arrows. He's all distracted. This guy is strong, man. Why are my guys not attacking? Sidon is the worst. Like, he just stands there. Hit him. No, Jay hates Tears of the Kingdom now. <laughs> Silver Moblin Horn. Attach it to a weapon to vastly increase the attack power. Wow. Where was that? Trying to find anything in the inventory. The Silver Moblin something. There it is. see what this does whoa I mean she ain't pretty but that's 55 wow 55 on that bad boy Need this zonate for our sweet wall. The wall of power. Oops. Okay, no luck with the arrows here. For the sake of the stream, I might just go buy some at the town if we don't find any. Okay, what did I miss? What's going on? No stone around here. Some money. Four sixty-eight. Not much, and I have like so much in my inventory. I mean, I'm just kind of afraid to. Um, oops, afraid to sell. Right. I've just kind of been saving everything because I don't really, at this point, need money. I have the house the way I want it for now. So I don't really need, I mean, there's those um, armor sets in those towns, but you can just quest to get them at a reduced price. So I don't really want to spend all that money on them. All right. 
42. Wait, do we take that one down? Uh-oh, I forget which one we fought. This one, then I think we went to this one. So this one. Can you do a quest to turn in the Vo armor? I don't know if I have it yet. I can't remember. If this is not enough arrows, we'll have to go buy some. We didn't just fight this one, did we? Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Oh, hey, look at him. He's right below us. Okay, so we have five. What? It, what is that? Oh, see, I'm gonna mess up the whole fight because I'm going for whatever this thing is. What is this? Oh, star fragment. No, no, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Shush. Okay. Heavy snow. No rocks this time to dodge around. And uh, we got this guy over here. Oh boy. My, this is the biggest shield of all time. He's going to be on top there again, so we're going to have to find a way to jump over there and smack him with the hammer. Five. Hit him with the 55. Fuck up. And up. Oh my god, that's not good. Whoa. Okay, easy, easy, easy. We got this, we got this. Build. Hang on. Okay, it's off the rails. The fight's off the rails. I've lost control. That's okay. We gain control back. No, I don't want the killer robot.
Hey, Zero, what's up, buddy? Welcome to hell. I'm, I'm losing it. Uh, there we go. gonna knock my tower over okay give me two seconds to think okay, here we go what oh my bow is broken I'm resetting I'm resetting I'm resetting it Willie has been a member for four months. If you're in the chat, buddy, I love you. I don't think you are, but I appreciate it so much. I'm just restarting the fight. Bill Money, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Zero, I appreciate it very much, dude. Why am I just always... I'm just standing here, and he's not killing me. Isn't that hilarious? Oh, you got me there. Of course you come in when I die. We took two of them down. I lost control of the fight. Again, guys, thank you so much for the support. You guys are the best. We gotta do our stealth. The wily e. coyote approach. This is this is how we're going. Why it keeps resetting to that? Just stay on this. This is the only thing I ever want in my inventory ever again. Is this thing? How did you see me? Diabolical. Oh, God. Okay, well, this is now a shield. What do you mean you don't have enough room? This up is hilarious. I'm gonna reset it. In the winter area, I get the blue game over screen. Willie, you streaming tonight? The big Canada Day weekend? I think you are, right? Sunday on YouTube. So this is on a hill. This is why it's not working too well. Uh, Alright, Matt. See you later, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. It was good, Stanley. Awesome. No spoilers, please. I'm going this week. Nice to hear some positivity. Starting bow is garbage. That's good to know. Uh, 
I'm never gonna get to him. <sighs> I'm gonna have to just wait it out. What a bummer. I mean, I don't want to waste the arrows. I could still hammer them, I guess, but... Get up. Oh, my guys are... Blind. Hit him hard, hit him with everything you got. He's smart. He's playing smart. Did that kill me? Oh my god. Almost. Oh, God. See. This one's tough because he's not coming off. I'm going to have to lure him off. So I'll have to aggro him and then bring him down. Because I can't get up there in time. And then his heads are hanging over the edge. Okay, now let's get everything ready this time. Jeez, and replace that bow. Just trying to think of how to take him on here. Yeah, I need a coffee soon, buddy. I'm dying. This is my... Uh, I'm going to try one more time. And then I'm going to grab a coffee after this. So one more time before the break here. I'm just trying to tackle it in a different way. Going straight up on him's not doing any good. i got to give him off, get him off that cliff. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's smart. There we This one's tough. This is a tough one. Okay, I need a coffee, guys. I need some Energon. I'll be back in four minutes. I'm uh, just taking a short break here. Two Gleox down. A few more to go. Okay, be right back.
right, we're back. Got some coffee. You guys are kind of throwing you need a nap or caffeine. Well, it's pretty early there for you, right? Oh god, you can actually see him like looking at this really cool. I don't think this uh, same strat's gonna work. He needs a cappy. Yep, I would say. Well. Can't get this guy off the ledge. Hits me again, that's gonna kill me. That's what I want. Come on, buddy. times there didn't you gonna have to use the uh, hold down attack for that Master Sword still not up. Switch weapons to Master Sword ready. Nope. It's gonna fall. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Keep getting the buttons mixed up. There we go. No weapon. Unbelievable, man. Why is there no weapon in my hand?
get up, get up, get up. Use the eyeballs here. No, 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 no. I should have fire keys eyeballs. Keys, keys, whatever. Oh, that's a regular one. The regular will work. I just only have one. Where the frig is it? The inventory system from hell, ladies and gentlemen. The inventory system from hell. Problem being now is that I don't have many weapons. Yeah, and Jeff too, I've kept all my inventory. I haven't sold anything. Um, just for crafting and whatnot, right? Uh, upgrading armor sets, I've kept every material that I've gathered. And consequently... Trying to go through everything is, is pretty tough. But I mean, at least it kind of freezes a little bit. Like it doesn't keep the real time stuff going or that would be... That would be impossible. I'm going to that shrine. Just to give myself a little break here. I do like how all three Gleok fights have been a little bit different. So that one was a little bit harder to do the tower defense that we've been doing. Because the snow makes it uneven. It kept blowing over. I think because right now I don't need money. And before I was motivated because I wanted to um, upgrade the house. And now I've kind of built the house the way I want it. So I'm not really motivated as much. Um, but there's a few armor sets in the towns and stuff like that that I do want to get. But I'm sure you can just quest them.
I mean, I guess you do need rubies, too, to upgrade the armor, right? With the fairies. You need the mats plus money, I believe. I don't know. Money just doesn't seem to be a big factor in this game. So far, maybe. And I'm really... The more it goes on, like, I found that gold, Zelda's gold, gold horse, which is really cool and stuff like that. But the more I play through it, I'm really kind of bummed out that the horse is kind of just, like annoying because he gets caught on everything and this is where like I kind of wish that fast travel wasn't a thing a little bit you know like I like the three different seals that we can place wherever we want I think if they just kept it to that I don't know I just, it's just a minor complaint, but I really miss the horse. It's just so unnecessary. Maybe at the beginning of the game, but look at all these teleport points. Why would you ever need the horse? It's not even like you can really fight bosses on the horse either. Now, to find out what those Gleok parts did. Uh, so one, two, three. There's one here. Yep, they respawn, I know. Yeah, I just, I'm trying to figure out if there's something you get for killing them all. I know that once you've defeated one, it's it will say defeated by the name, which is really cool. So it's kind of a check mark. Yeah, like the first day I fought whatever that big trolls, those trolls are with the one eye. I fought one of those uh, thinking it was a world boss that would be gone forever. And it respawned on the blood moon, which is fine. But I thought it was really cool, though, that it did say defeated by the name. It's kind of like a little bit like an achievement. I have no food hardly either, so this is an issue. We're getting low at least. I don't like to be this low. The Hinox, yeah. Have you got the quest to hunt those? There's a quest to hunt like all the world bosses. I just found it the other day. I should put this on. See, we're, yeah, we're getting out of everything. I don't know if we'll be able to take down another one at this particular moment. Yeah, I should just pull out a horse here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to walk there. I don't know. Well, I don't feel the draw back to it. I don't know if you've gone as far as I have. I don't think you have. But there's a fight. I don't know, man. There's just something about it. It's like an MMO fight in a single-player game. It's almost like a little bit Dark Souls-y in terms of, like, brutality. I don't know. I, I think it's a good game. I just, I don't, I don't know if I want to uh, get back at it. Yeah. Oh, that's, I'm glad you like it, dude. I'm glad they tried something different, too, with the formula. Why not? What's up, Dale? How you doing, buddy? Happy Canada Day. Weekend. Anybody do anything super fun this weekend? Yeah, well, there's a lot. I still haven't tried Street Fighter yet. 
Um, so there's Street Fighter. Uh, Diablo, I've barely scratched the service, which I really want to play more of that. Oh, is that a shrine? Distracted. Do I have that one? I don't. Okay, I'm going to get that shrine before before we head to the next Gleok. What? What is this? Distracted. I'm gonna train again today. Oh, is this that, um, dumbbell thing or whatever? I haven't found that yet. No, that's in the Goron area, isn't it? The test your strength thing. Don't you be talking game of the year just yet. You just keep that out of your dirty old mouth. Guys, the year's half over. Come on. Lots of time to go still. Not this guy, whatever this is. Lots of time still. But yeah, I want to get back into um, Diablo again. I only really streamed it the one day. That's the only time I've really ever played it. Two thousand ten, that's cool, dude. That thing almost hit me. I've been lucky this far, I haven't been hit by any falling rocks, but I've seen plenty of people that have been unlucky people. You gotta throw um I know you haven't played it yet, but you gotta try Resident Evil four, man. That game is friggin' amazing. What's oh I found one. Look. Uh oh. Look look at him looking at me. I haven't I've never seen one yet in my game. Is a Master Sword still not ready? This thing's almost broken. I feel like if I move he's gonna come running right at me. Here you go, buddy. Here's one. Here's a Lionel for you. Okay, let's uh I don't know, what's good to fuse? Like, what's a really great thing to fuse to a sword? I don't really want to make it an ice sword or any of that. Topaz, any of this do anything? I feel like I should be saving these, right? For, like, armor upgrades. That's why I don't want to use. What can we fuse to the sword to make it stronger? Besides a carrot. What about this stuff? Sort by the highest power. By fuse attack power. Oh, sweet. Okay. I didn't know you could do that. So these items here, the ancient blade, these are the one shotters on Lionel's. So I've seen someone hit, um, or sorry, try and go for Majora's Mask. And it's that Colosseum when you have to fight like five or six of them. And the guy had like ten of these things. And he just put it on his arrow and just one shot at each one. So it would be this. Oh god, he's going to come after me. Oh god, he saw me. <laughs> All right, well, I don't even know what he does, so watch how fast they die. Tulin's already got him, man. What? That's it? Give me a break. This guy will be easy. What are we going to hit him with? Let's hit him with, uh, I don't know. Fire bomb. Just a bomb. Okay, that did nothing. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh! 
Okay, so he's got a pretty big reach. Safe to say he's got a pretty big reach. Would have been dead there. Okay. So safe to say he's pretty strong. Defense up. Okay, so how do you dodge that? Then he's gonna plunder me again. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Oh, yeah, I clipped that. Okay, ow. What? <sighs> okay, so you just gotta stun him, right? Look at him. He's like, where did he go? Well, you knocked me off. How is Link alive after that fall? Like, how is he even. Like, how am I even alive? <laughs> So how do you how do you dodge that initial swipe? So I gotta stun him with an arrow again. So I gotta use the same the same thing. Like oh, how am I gonna get up here? Louie, what's going on? How you doing? Good to see ya. We just fought and defeated three Gleox. Heading to the fourth and been distracted by my first Lionel. I've never seen one. So it didn't go so well because I'm at the bottom of this chasm now. He he hurt me. Hide him in a cloud of puff rooms. He'll get a question mark above his head. And then run and mount him. Okay, yeah, I've seen people do that. Um, like, do the mounting. I've seen that. Puff Shroom will confuse him. Okay. So you mount him and then you friggin' stab him in the back with the sword, I assume. This sucks. I should just fly up there. You got your full stamina. Nice. I started last night, I was lying there, and I started doing uh, shrines just to do that, but I was like half asleep, so it didn't work out so well. Uh, well, so I have today's stream. We're focused on defeating the Gleox as many as uh, I can. So those are all mapped out. We've taken out three, and we were heading to the fourth, and then I found a Lionel, which I had never seen up until this point. And he just knocked me off the cliff. So that's why we're over here now. Does he randomly spawn, or is he always there? Where is he? No, I don't see him. We'll meet again, buddy. We'll meet again. Oh, there he is. Okay, well, we met again. Here we are. Okay. Running out of materials. Okay, so a, a puff shroom. Let's get that ready. This thing, okay. JT says a puff shroom will do it. To confuse him, and then we, we mount him up. Okay. Parry his first attack. Bully him in the face. Okay, two strats. Oh, he's mad. He's got an angry mark. Yeah, come on. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I've never used one of these before, so... That's a good strike. My guys are tanking him at least, so that's good. I gotta parry him. That's my own fault. 
I'm not I'm not super great with the parries to be honest. It's good to know that that did nothing to save me. What was that? Seriously. The guy was faster than me letting go of the uh the friggin' bow. He's quicker than me, what can I say? Well, they're reloading me, so I get all my stuff back. So these are guys. These guys are like kind of like mini world bosses. Then there he is. Come on, let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. All the defense we're going to get. I wish I could send in my minions. That would be fun. Yeah, I'm going to have to... I don't know if we're going to be, uh, be able to do another Gleok. Because I'm, I'm almost out of food. Um, almost out of arrows. Yeah. I'm going to try and parry him. That, that's a new move. Okay, they're not, it's not too bad. They're not too bad. I'm more just kind of fascinated with what he's using to attack. And I'm not being super fast. Yeah, you want to... Let's do Dark Link. It's time to get evil. Where is he? I think he just left. He's like, you know what? I'm good. Dargoon, thank you very much for the sub. If you were in the chat, good to see you, mate. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, boy. I can't even see it. I don't even know what's happening. He wants me. Yeah, he's he's pretty smart, this one. Okay, let's get some health in us. It's so fast. It's literally quicker than I can even let go of the arrow. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, no joke. No joke. His attacks are relatively easy to parry. It just took me a while to get used to him. Yeah. I, I think I agree with you. It's just like anything, right? You just got to get used to the pattern. But yeah, he's quick for his size. Like he's he comes at you fast. Uh, I think all cosmetics aside, we need to just go with what uh, is going to protect us the most. Not like it even matters really. All his hits pretty much take all my health. I mean, I don't have a lot of hearts, but I got a fair amount. What does this do? Restore stamina. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah, he only needs to hit you once. So, yeah. So, when he's running at me, not only is it super fast, but it's a one-hit kill. So, like, how do I... How would I dodge... How do you dodge that? I guess that's what I'm having trouble with. 
Like Link can't exactly like jump out of the way. You'd think he'd be able to, but. Damn. He's quick. Man. Hit him, boys. Just hit him. I'm just taking my time here. Gotta run up to him there. Why can't you get on him? The Master Sword is still down. Wait, I don't want this. I want a two-hander. Let's try the other two-hander. It's tough. Well, the 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 puff, uh, the mushroom strat is a good opener, but my problem is I keep trying to do it after. I you can't control them, TJ. That's what I was saying. Oh, now it's raining again. I'm just going to the shrine. I'm not gonna deal with the thunder crap. Um. Yeah, that was tough. I definitely gonna need practice on those guys for sure. Yeah, I wish you could control your guys. They kind of just do their own thing. If there's a way to get them to attack, someone please let me know because I'm I'm unaware of it. Oh, when he bucks you off, going to bullet time. That's a good idea. So does the bullet time arrow stuff, is that going to put him into stun? Because I could, realistically, I could just do that tower strat again. Oh, Jesus, I'm not even paying attention. Where is that shrine? Where did that shrine just go? Did I not just mark that? Oh, screw this. Yeah, 
There it is. Keep the cloud between you and him. Okay, gotcha. I was trying to hit him with the cloud, um, thinking that would like stagger him. You can only get on his back when he's stunned. Okay, that would explain why. I left myself open for a bunch of hits there, going around back. That makes sense. Thanks, guys. enough mats to do any kind of more attacks on the Gliok, but that doesn't mean we can't have fun. What is that? Oh, it's um, let's do this. Okay, let me put on my fire gear. We're going to test something out. We're going to play uh we're going to play some skateboarding. We're going to play some Tony Hawk here for a couple minutes. Because there's two different types of boards that I want to test here. So I got to have um, the minecart from here. Because it's different. It's Leet. It's the red one. I don't just want the regular one. I got to have the red one. We get the red one here. Have a favorite armor set. <laughs> Oddly enough, it's the Breath of the Wild, the Blue Champions set. Um, I like, I like the old stuff for nostalgia for sure. But I like the look of the blue set, the Champions le leathers, and I like Link just like Savage style. It just looks cool. It reminds me of Savage Human. So dig that too. Have you guys done the fire temple yet? Have you done this one? Skateboard. And how many shields do I have? Be quick here. This one's gonna catch on fire. It's on fire. It's gone. Yeah, you gotta be really fast. Okay, so let's switch. Switch to this one. Yeah, I did make a kind of a killer robot. Uh, it was pretty funny. I still have to make a short out of it. He was all lopsided and he looked like Randy from a Christmas story. Like I made his arms too heavy. So when he was walking, he's actually doing this. And the lasers were all not straight and everything. It's pretty funny. 
Fire Temple is awesome. That this was the first temple that felt like a Zelda game. Now we gotta get out of here. The other two were great. The wind what was the wind and the uh, the water. I think they were great. This one actually felt like a Zelda, traditional Zelda dungeon. <coughs> the enemies would one shot you too most of the time. Yeah, I think I, I just have the lightning one to go. Okay, so I'm going to do a little test here and see which is the better skateboard. Because the minecart looks cool and I like the grinding action of it, but I don't know if it's better than the, um, like the Zonite little scooter thing, the cart. We're going to have to test it out. some of the armor sets that you guys like? That's a good question. There's so many. And I like how they're just not cosmetic. They actually do something, which is nice. Okay, let's figure this out here. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, this is just the regular green, like, gumball cart. This one goes pretty good. Oh, hang on there, buddy. I mean, that one's pretty good, right? I feel like it's faster than the mine cart. Woohoo! That was a good run. Now we're gonna try the other one. The minecart one I think looks cooler and it makes like a grindier noise. But we'll have to see which one is better. Just use the ancient blade on an arrow for the line what made him disappear. Yeah, if you use um was that one thing I said? Yeah, ancient blade kills him in one shot. Yep. That I saw in a video, yeah. Okay, now see if the minecart's any better here. Maybe a little faster. A little bit. I don't know. What do you think? I still prefer the minecart. I think it's just ridiculous looking. 
You know what? I haven't spent a lot of time here at all. Th this this area in the game is just amazing. There's just so much to play around with. Um, so we won't be doing any more uh, Gleox, obviously. Running around and collecting mats is not really a fun stream. So I'll do that on my own time. Yeah, I like the minecart better. And then there's just something cool about... I mean, it does break, but I had my first minecart from the Fire Temple for a long time before it broke. <clears throat> there's something cool about having to go there too and get one. Because it's like a different color. Oh, that's just fun. Yeah, I need like everything. I don't think there's an area where you can get just like arrow after arrow, is there? Why aren't my guys with me? Oh god. <laughs> did I, I didn't dismiss him, did I? Where's my Goron buddy? Jay blew himself up. What armor set awaits us here? Oh god, I'm gonna kill myself again. Good. No idea why my Goron companion is not in the well with me. I'll check if he's dismissed. I don't think I dismissed him. No. Nope. I just decided, you know what? I'm not going to follow you today. Forget about it. Okay, well, we got all this stuff here, all these gumballs. Which, I mean, I appreciate, but... That's it. You. I see you. How are we going to get to you there, bud? Not around that way. Switch. What is that? What are they rusted? Did you do this one, Willie? 
What's this big joke? What's this big one? Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know what to do here. Oh, the gate? We just left the gate? No. Nope. So behind us should be where it is, but there's nothing there. Or is there? There we go. I think this is where I was. Yeah. Buddy, what are you trying to do? Come on, let's be friends. be friends forever let me stab you with the arrow thanks buddy for being my friend forever apart from like the original like quest tree or whatever that took me here I really honestly haven't explored this area uh, that's our buddy look at him right up there yeah so this is where you can make all the cars right And do like all the crazy jumps. This is like the skate park here. Awesome. I'm going to go up here. And this will be a good place to conclude today's stream. Right here. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for everyone. Uh, who donated super chats to the channel you guys are the best and i couldn't do it without you make sure you guys check out a couple of different streams tonight so chad is streaming willie low is streaming as well make sure you guys hang out with them give them your support uh, i will see you guys in a couple of days thanks very much for hanging out this weekend till next time my friends cheers <laughs>